Hey you guys, uh, it's been a little while, I've been busy, um, <laughs> anyway, I just picked these up, I got these, uh, these new tires here, they are Bridgestone's, the Battle Axe Hypersport S20s, um, and I'm about to go, I'm pulling the, I'm pulling the wheels off to go have them swapped out, uh, so these are these don't come in stock sizes for the rear they do come in stock sizes for the front so I have a 110 70 for the front and a 150 60 for the rear um, this is the second set of tires that I'm putting on the bike uh, these that I have on here now are not the stock tires um, these are Continentals Conti motions. Uh, they're a sport touring tire, a harder compound, um, which I needed because I was driving. I was putting a lot of miles on the bike, uh, and I I couldn't afford to have something that was going to wear out in you know seven thousand miles. Um, so and these these have gone a long time actually, and probably could go a little bit longer. Um, anyway, yeah, so I needed something that was going to go long distance, you know, and, and these have, these have gone, I think these have gone 15,000 miles, and I don't know how well you can see the, the wear on here, but, um, I mean, they've got a little bit of a flat spot down the middle, um, and a little bit of, they sort of started cupping a little bit here on the, on the edges, I don't know if it's visible at all, but I mean, on the on the edges here, there's still some tread depth. Uh, here's a here's the wear bar right here, and it's not quite to the wear bar. That's in the rear. Uh, the front the front wore kind of funny. The front wore wore much more on the left side here, and it in some places is just about. Well, just about down to the wear bar, same as the rear. I probably ran them a little bit lower than the recommended pressures, so they might have worn a little faster. Um, these didn't come in stock sizes for either the front or the rear, so this is a 150 on the rear, 120 on the front. So we'll see what the difference is going back. But anyway, yeah. So I was just going to talk a little bit about a little bit about the Continentals. Why? get them taken off here maybe um, if I can get the camera to stay there uh, and then once I get these swapped out I'll do a I'll do a little review of the of the hypersports which are gonna be a softer compound hopefully stickier now that I don't have to drive so far it won't matter if they wear a little faster but uh, yeah, so I don't know. I think these are really good. I couldn't tell. I couldn't tell really much of a difference from the uh, from the stock tires. I didn't think they were. I didn't think they necessarily felt a lot more grippy. But. They certainly were. They certainly weren't worse, and the, they're radials, so they felt they felt a lot more comfortable to ride, uh, especially on the freeway with the cracks and bumps and things that are in the road. Uh, they just soak. They soak all radials soak all that up a lot better than the stock tire did. But I mean, I did take them to the. I had them in the twisties also, and and. They did fine there. I mean, I'm not the greatest. I don't push it that hard, but but they aren't a true sport tire, and they still did they still did well enough for me, let's say, in that respect. Um. Anyway, yeah, I would definitely recommend these if you need something that's going to go long distance. Um, like I said, they went 15,000 miles for me. Mostly freeway. I did take them to the Twisties a few times. Um, 
But yeah, they've lasted really well. They're good in the, good in the rain. A few times I had to do that, and and they're not too expensive. I uh, just over two hundred dollars to have this set shipped. So uh, so yeah, um, I definitely would recommend these Continentals. Um, I'll I will do a review of the Bridgestones once I get them on there and and get them scrubbed in. I don't want to do the review until they've had a few miles put on them and are all ready to go. Um, so yeah, that'll be coming up. And I also just found out that there's going to be a KTM demo event later this month, so I'm definitely going to try to get to that. Uh, maybe ride a Super Duke, so... Uh, that'll be coming up as well, hopefully. But, uh, yeah, anyway, so I gotta, let me, I gotta get this finished so I can drop them off over there and have, the, have them swapped out. But, uh, that's all for now. I'll see you guys next time. Wow, traffic here is bad now that school is back. Thank God for lane splitting.